smaller school, a smaller opponent, not an SEC team. Yeah, I mean, but you're still playing football, uh, so that's kind of our mindset, how we're going to get better this week, um, you know, as an offense standpoint, as a team aspect, and uh, really try to go out and, uh, and get better. You've been on fire since the bye week, especially on third down. What do you think have been some of the reasons? Yeah, execution. Everybody's kind of uh, playing off each other. Everybody's kind of in, in that groove right now. Hopefully we can keep it and uh, keep rolling with it. Uh, it's working out really well for us right now. Jake, you're talking to the offensive line, I think, after uh, one of the goal line stops uh, the other day. What's kind of your message to them? Uh, trying to you know, read the confidence right guy, and what are the answers down there? Yeah, I mean, those guys are doing an incredible job. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep being physical. Uh, keep grinding on these guys. Uh, Auburn had a, a Sunday type caliber uh, defensive line, and uh, our guys did a really, really good job with those guys moving them. Uh, and you know, as you can tell, you know, uh, Dre and uh, Elijah had you know really good performances. So um, those guys are doing a really good job playing a high level, and I hope they can continue, can continue to do that. Can you uh, just describe from a football standpoint? You guys have a lot of success in the zero to one hole or whatever you guys call it downfield. And when you get down there inside the five yard line, obviously that's been an issue. Uh, what are the problems down there? Is it just the physics that they're just as big as you are, or execution, or what, what, what do you think? Well, I mean, it's it, it's a tighter area. Um, you know, a lot of bodies in there. Uh, right now, just not really executing at the, at the highest level we need to right now. Um, and, you know, just kind of, it is what it is. And the chips just hadn't kind of fell our way. Uh, hopefully they will here soon, because uh, we're going to need that time uh, here soon. Jake, how do you get up for these defining moments, I guess? I mean, you've proven yourself over and over and over, and yet you go into the Florida game, back to the wall, at Kentucky, back to the wall. What's your motivation or what keeps you on course? Um, I just kind of keep thinking about the reason, you know, I, I play football. Um, God put me here to, to play football and glorify him. Um, so I, I think I kind of best glorify him when I'm playing at, at a high level. So I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm straining to, 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 to be the best football player I can be. So. Um, just, just really trying to trying to serve, uh, serve my God, serve my teammates, serve my family, and um, just be the best I can be. What's the process of, of growing a thick skin? I mean, obviously your freshman year, you know, you you were a winner. You're sailing all the way through, can't do anything wrong. Now, the, obviously, the critics have been in and out. Even as you've gone to a nine and one record, how did you learn to have a thicker skin, not let that kind of stuff affect your performance? You know, you just. You just really just don't kind of worry about it. You just put your head down. And you just keep working. Uh, whether it's good things, you know, you keep working. If it's bad things, you keep working. They just just not really focusing on the on the outside. Um, you know, I know what my family says about me. I know what my teammates say about me, and um, that's that's kind of all I need. Is that kind of thing tougher for folks close to you, maybe family members stuff when they hear the criticisms about you? Like they go off, you know, off your shoulder and all that. But what about? Yeah, they they, they, they definitely take it a lot harder than I do. Uh, it, it it doesn't bother me much, and, and they know it doesn't. But. Um, uh, some of my family members don't have the the, uh, the thickest skin as, as I do. <laughs> well, kind of the opposite of the goal line situation is you guys in two minutes. You guys have really been good at two minutes at the end of the half. Mm -hmm. like, what, what do you owe that to? And do you particularly like those situations? It seems like oh, as a quarterback, you, you love those situations. It's something that we practice. We do a really good job of, of working on uh, through camp, you know, and, and, and through the season. And um, it, it's really something I did in high school, you know, working that um tempo offense, throwing it every down. It's something I like, I really enjoy, and um, it, it's, it's proven to be really successful for us. What are some things you saw on the video from the LSU game that stood out to you that you wanted to focus on during the bye week to improve? What yeah, execution. Um, you know, you're going to miss throws in and out of games. It, it is what it is. But really just executing um, and make sure I, my eyes are, are where they need to be and um, just putting the offense in the, in the best possible play uh, in, in each kind of scenario. Does your pocket change with different linemen going in and out? I know Kirby said ben, Ben's going to be back, Cade Kendall day-to-day -day kind of thing. I mean, is that something that you're aware of, or do you not even think about the personnel that's in front of you? Really don't think about it. All those guys are, are capable of, of doing a phenomenal job, so it's not something that, oh, hey, that guy's in there. Um, you know, that right side is going to be soft, that left side is going to be soft. It's, it's none of that. Those guys are, are awesome. You know, they really work together and um, doing a phenomenal job. And um, I've been staying up, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. Justin, honestly, played last weekend. What have you seen from him as he's continued to grow as a, as a quarterback? This yeah, he's done a great job uh, running the ball for us and, and um, you know, kind of that, that different um, kind, of, kind of type offense uh, for us. And um, hopefully he can continue, can, uh, continue to contribute and, um, and help, help the team out. What's the toughest lessons he's having to learn right now? Um, gosh, I, I really don't know. Um, you know, right now, just trying to trying to serve the team and uh, just be the best possible uh, teammate he can for the team. We, uh, it gets taken for granted sometimes, isn't it? Getting the play in from the sideline, getting the play, get communicated, 
checks the line of scrimmage, you got a four second clock, it's not going to stop. Uh, how, how much is that uh, a challenge to being a quarterback in this day and age? Uh, well, everybody in the stands, they can count to 11 and they can count down from 25. So uh, that's, <laughs> those, are, those are two things that we really uh, don't need to have any mental errors on. Uh, and uh, I think that kind of gets taken for granted, but um, yeah. it's just something you just, you just can't have those, uh, those mistakes. Y'all had a impressive streak of three games wins against tough opponents. Have you uh, uh, have you seen uh, the team progress week by week uh, through that stretch? Yeah, I mean the team's definitely taking strides right now. I mean, as you can tell, uh, the kind of caliber opponents we've been playing and and how well we've been able to, to run the football and play the team. Defense is playing on an unreal level right now, uh, stopping the run and um, and getting off on third down. So um, let's just try to just keep going, keep chopping away at it and um, hopefully he can pay off for us in the end. Well, DeAndre Swift, Swift is admittedly as healthy as he's been. What's the ripple effect when he is feeling that good just throughout practice and game and for your whole offense? Yeah, I mean, you get these these runs, instead of six, you know, seven, eight yards, yeah, they're starting to break off for, for larger chunks, and um, he's making guys miss. Uh, you know, we, we like to think he's always going to win that one-on-one, -on -one, um, and right now he's, he's winning a high majority of them. Jake, is there any adjustment at all when you have guys in the offensive line? get lost in the middle of the game due to injuries. And, you know, it's happened a lot this season, pretty much every game. I mean, uh, you guys seem to roll with the punches, but from a quarterback's perspective and trying to get these guys in the right spot and communicating, how, how has that affected you? Well, I think that speaks highly of the camaraderie and uh, just, just how everybody's kind of molded together in the offensive line room. Um, that starts from the top down with Coach Pittman. And, and um, they, those guys, they, they play well together. It really doesn't matter who's in there right now. Those guys are, are going in there and playing together and, and playing really well. Where's your confidence, I guess? I mean, obviously you got to be confident to be a quarterback, but again, going over what you've been through this season, I mean, has that just made you feel even stronger? I mean, when you're able to overcome these, I guess, odds, adversity, game after game? Yeah, uh, I just think it's a little bit to, to how I was raised, uh, my family, and, um, you know, you, you like being in these, these kind of situations. It, it's fun, it's exciting, and uh, it kind of makes you who you are. So it kind of started clicking better in the second quarter, offensively and defensively. You had those two drives, hit Simmons and uh, Godwin on that fade. Like, what kind of started clicking in the second quarter to get y'all going? Um, really, just just started executing better. You know, all the drives there in the first half, we were moving the ball down the field. We just didn't execute uh, once we got down there in the low red. Um, so you kind of start seeing big big chunks, big plays kind of being made. Uh, and uh, guys, you know, when they have the ball in their hands, making plays and then getting an end zone. What is the, you know, you hear game manager used for a lot of quarterbacks, and some people look at it as a negative thing, but obviously managing the huddle, making the right calls. What are your thoughts on playing a role like that for Georgia and just keeping the team on the right on the rails, so to speak? I mean, it's not, not something for me really to decide. I mean, for me, I'm just trying to go out, make the right checks, you know, do what I got to do to put the offense in the best uh, chance to succeed. Whether that's you know throwing it 80 times a game, whether that's you know handing it off 80 times a game, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, as long as the offense is doing well and other teams winning, I'm behind it. How do you how do you find that edge though, Jake? You, you obviously have a very high touchdown interception ratio. You rarely throw picks. The one was arguably on the receiver for not coming back fast enough. How do you determine when you're going to try and put it in a window and when it's just not worth the throw? I think that just comes to a lot of reps, knowing what you can and can't do, uh, knowing the kind of guys you have in the. Uh, you know, out there, um, it just it, there's a lot that kind of goes into it, and uh, I think it's it's something that's really kind of taken for granted uh, with a lot of quarterbacks out there. You know, people don't realize uh, how difficult it is sometimes, and, and even myself, I find it crazy. You know that that we throw a football and we put it in some of these just really tight spots. Sometimes it's it's incredible. It really is, and um, it, it's fun to watch. They announced uh, not conference game. Clemson in Texas. Uh, that trip to Austin. That that definitely be pretty fun. Um, you know they're a great program, and uh, to go in there that kind of house and that kind of place, uh, I'm sure it'd be pretty awesome. What did those kind of games, though, seriously? I mean, obviously Notre Dame was your debut, mm -hmm. or starting debut last year. Notre Dame's coming back. What do those games do, kind of juice wise for a team or a program? Can you know that they're coming? Yeah, um, I think you just kind of kind of see where you're at as a program. Uh, it's kind of a, a way to kind of compare. And, uh, and really kind of get up, you know, play big there. You know, usually those kind of games are at the beginning of the season. And uh, then kind of mold your team uh, and uh, hopefully, you know, in a good way, um, you know, be able to fight and come back and, 
uh, be able to win those kind of ball games. Thanks, Jake. Awesome. Thank you, guys.